Of guys and gals out there, and welcome to an all new episode of the Adventurous Joe Show. I'm your host, as always, the Adventurous Joe. And on this episode, we're on a war, on a, we're on a war path big time because YouTube and their whole demonetization crap has screwed over the little guy in all in favor of their big namers. That's all it is, basically. And it's all thanks to one YouTube big name YouTuber in general, Logan Paul. That's right, because of what he did in Japan and mm, filming a dead body to say, oh, he was trying to get uh, going about talking about suicide and stuff. No, this was just the typical mm, mm, Paul Brothers bullshit. I mean, seriously, Jake Paul is the worst, but Logan Paul is no better. And their father don't help matters at all, either. Okay, but here's the thing. When it comes to the demonetization of a video and stuff like that, his video didn't get a goddamn thing done to it until they fucking had so many complaints about it that uh, YouTube finally stepped in and says, Oh, we're going to take that video down now and so on and so forth. Kind of late when it got over 6 million views from being up there and everything else in between. Not to mention he had a, a guy hanging himself that he filmed in the fucking thumbnail for the fucking video. Yes, this is the part that gets very fun because then YouTube came out and says to all the smaller channels that if you don't reach over 1,000 subscribers or you don't get over, four, I think it's 4,000 views of airtime or 14,000 views of airtime or some stupid goddamn shit in between, they will demonetize your video, okay? Future, you know, your videos. You will have no monetization privileges whatsoever if you do not meet this criteria by February 20th. Well, February 20th passed, and guess what happened? The demonetization took place. But, here's the kicker. YouTube fucked over every single YouTube channel, smaller YouTube channel, by demonetizing every video ever put up. Seriously. All 400 of our videos had been demonetized. Literally, all 400 and some videos. And for what? Because we didn't make your stupid 1,000 subscriber count? Because we didn't make your 14,000 views of airtime? Your policy, YouTube, is nothing but bullshit. And that's all it's ever been. The person in charge of that stupid thing should have been dragged out in the street and shot. Ooh, that's right. YouTube headquarters just recently got shot up. Too soon? Maybe? Don't care. Uh, but it's because of this kind of thing that a small time a small time YouTuber was tired of being screwed over herself and 
came in there and shot up the place. Sad part is she actually killed herself afterwards. So, And what was YouTube's answer to the whole thing? So there could be no investigating into what they've been doing to her videos and stuff? Delete her channel! Quick! We can't be done. We can't be found out. We've been fucking her over. Delete the channel. And that's what they did. They deleted her channel. Yep. And then you got big name YouTubers out there like Philip DeFranco and stuff sitting there saying about that uh, fuck her and anyone that supports her and stuff. Well, how about fuck all of you because you don't support nobody but yourselves. Okay. This is why YouTube is taking a big shit. YouTube only gives a shit about the money. They don't give a damn about the YouTuber who's worked their ass off to make everything happen and stuff. And then goes and demonetizes every single video ever put up. Because they didn't meet the criteria in a month. Your guys' policy is about as good... If I had it in my hand right now, it'd be about as good as toilet paper. Seriously. It'd be good enough to wipe my ass with. That's about it. Okay. And then on top of that, YouTube is screwing over other YouTubers, including Mr. Weenie Productions. What the hell is going on around here? Seriously. Philip DeFranco gets a video demonetized and all of a sudden, uh, well, because he's got pull with you guys and he can freaking get a hold of you when no one else can. Oh, his videos go right back on demonetization and shit within 24 to 48 hours. But that's because he's one of your big namers. That's because he is also one of your probably biggest kiss assers. Okay? Now, I don't mean to say you know, these kind of things and stuff, but this is how it goes. We are sick and tired of you screwing us over, YouTube. Okay? Now, I ain't got nothing to worry about this video being advertiser friendly or anything because uh, fuck advertising friendly, okay? You know? Mm, you already took away my monetization, so I ain't going to make no money off of nothing. So I could say, fuck you, YouTube, and your YouTube policy. Fuck you and your little advertiser friendlies. And fuck your YouTube partner program while you're at it. There you go. That is reason enough. And on top of that, I'm trying to find the lawyer who's supposed to be in charge of a class action lawsuit against you guys for discriminating against the smaller YouTube channels. Anybody knows who, who it is, point me in his direction, because I'm joining up. I'm going to personally join this class action lawsuit against YouTube. Because I'm sick and tired of them screwing over the little guy. And I've been one of those little guys on there trying to make it on YouTube. And they don't help when they sit there with their stupid, oh, we got to uh, take away some of your subscribers because they're not actual subscribers and stuff. They're bots. Yeah, magically, they're bots. And everything else in between. I'm sick and tired of it. And now, and then you get a big name YouTuber sitting there complaining about the fact that their video got demonetized and, oh, because, or do, deemed not advertiser friendly. Oh, someone get the world's smallest violin and start playing it because we got a big namer complaining YouTube is screwing them over. Big fucking deal. You got over 4 million, 3 million, 6 million subscribers or more. Who fucking cares? Okay? We're sick of you. If there was a place on YouTube to go, other than YouTube, to go to and get away from all this garbage, I'd be gone. I would take and be gone. But YouTube just likes to screw us over. That's all it is to it. And when it comes to the YouTube Partner Program, it's a joke. It's nothing but a goddamn joke. It's been a joke since day one. And this is the worst part about it all, is if you mm, can't meet the criteria, now they've got this thing saying that if you can't meet the criteria within the next couple of months still, then the next thing that goes is your channel. Your videos won't be seen and so on and so forth, and all this other bullshit that's out there. Yeah, YouTube continues to screw over the little guy while they care about the big guy more, okay? That's all it's coming down to. 
And they can sit there and say it's got nothing to do with Logan Paul. I mean, I love this fucking YouTube Creator Academy video that they put out and stuff, explaining what's going on and stuff. No, they say this has been in the works long before the Logan Paul incident. Bullshit. Because if it was in the works a long time ago and shit, you would have done something about the damn videos that have been getting on there, showing kids inappropriate crap and stuff that are deemed under your kids' channel, for God's sake. What the fuck? I meant seriously. Get your heads out of your asses. I mean, if shooting up the damn place wasn't enough, maybe suing you into the ground is more to the liking of everything. Mm -hmm. Get it through your head, YouTube. If you want this platform to stay as it is and become something great in everyone's eyes, stop screwing over the little guy! That's all it is to it. I'm sick and tired of YouTube and their stupid bullshit, their policies, and everything else in between. I mean, seriously. It's fucking ridiculous. It is fucking goddamn ridiculous. <sighs> well, anyways, I'm done. I mean, seriously, what more can I say? Uh, YouTube fucked me over, fucked every other channel over and stuff. But their big namers are still right up there making that dough, getting their big date and getting their names put out there and for all the world to see and so on and so forth. What more can I say? Anyways, what are your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen? Are you one of these YouTubers that have been screwed over by YouTube? And what are your thoughts on the YouTube shooting at, that took place at their headquarters? Do you think that the YouTuber was justified in what she did or that she could have reached out for some help somewhere because she tried gaining help from YouTube and stuff and, and getting help from someone else and stuff and nobody would help her. No one would help her. Maybe it was because she was Iranian. Oh, maybe YouTube is just being plain prejudiced against Iranians now. Maybe they're just being plain prejudiced against smaller channels too. It's just how it goes in this world I guess. Either way, let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And if you know who this lawyer is that's been starting a class action lawsuit against YouTube, let me know the name because I'm going to get a hold of the so-and-so and I'm joining up because I will be one of them part of the class action lawsuit against YouTube. That's right, YouTube. You, uh, you drew the battle lines. Now we're crossing them and you ain't going to like what's coming. Either way, that's it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave your comments, and please, for the love of God, I know it's gonna, it, you're going to all have a different opinion on something, and opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, okay? But come on, people. Get with the program. Keep it as, as simple as possible. Let's have a conversation here. Not a fist fight, but it's a, a digital fist fight, you know? Like, uh, I got to play Rock'em Sock'em Robots with some dipshit. Because then I have to sit there and get rid of your channel, get rid of you off my channel and stuff, out of my comments, and I don't like having to do that crap because I want to value everybody's opinion on something. Simple as that. Alright, that's it for this episode of The Adventurous Joe Show. I've been your host as always, The Adventurous Joe, and if, like I said, if you're one of these YouTubers that have been screwed over, we want to hear about it in the comment section below. Because when I do find out who this lawyer is that's filed a class action lawsuit against YouTube, I'm going to turn these comments over to them and let them put it as evidence against YouTube that they have been dis decidingly just screwing us all over without a single thought in their head. And personally, if somebody hadn't sh gone to YouTube HQ and shot up the place, personally, I, you know, there's other ways to have handled it, like uh, egging their cars or something else in between. I mean, everybody knows where YouTube headquarters is. Go figure. Either way, that's it, my adventurous ones. I will see you all next time. Until then, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Later.